Okay, for our first drawing, we are looking at where we see shapes. And on the slideshow, what shapes did we find in this picture? Do you remember? We found a circle. We found a triangle and another triangle. And we found two ovals and another triangle. Now we are going to use those shapes to help us draw this kitty. So what you need is a piece of paper and a pencil. You can use a regular pencil like this, or you can use a mechanical pencil, which is what I'm using. The first thing we're going to do is we're gonna start with our circle. So I want you in about the middle of your page to draw a nice round circle. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want to make it big because what are we going to put inside this circle? We're going to put the cat's face. We have to have enough room for eyes and a nose and a mouth. So we want to make it big enough so that we can fit those things in. What were the next shapes that we found? We found triangles for ears. And if we look at this, where are they at? Do you see on this circle where they're located? Are they right here in the middle? Are they down here over on this side? Are they over here? No, they're on each side of the top. So we're gonna go to the top side and this is the left, you can tell because your left hand makes an L and that left side we're gonna make, just coming right up from our circle, one line and another line. Now, we're gonna do this a little bit different. I want you to see, did we make a point there? Because triangles have points, right? This time, instead of making a point, we made it kind of round at the top. To make a rounded off triangle, we can also go up and make our pointy triangle like this, and then make our roundy shape here, then erase the pointy shape. So let's try that on the other side too. Over here is where our other ear is, and we're going to make another triangle. This time we're going to make it pointy. All the way to the top, stop, all the way down. Make sure it's nice and wide. Now we want it to be rounded, so we're just going to round that top, making a little curve, and then erase that pointy bit. Okay, already I think it's starting to look like a kitty a bit. So next, what we want to do is we are going to draw those ovals for the eyes. But now this, this is a bit of a tricky part. Where did we put them? Here we're going to look at measurements. If this is our circle here, the eyes are about halfway to the circle. So now this is really important, so listen carefully. Super, super light, really, really light. I want you to draw a line halfway through your circle. Now, why do you think I said to draw it super, super light? It's like the whisper of drawing. I want you to draw it so light because we're going to erase it. We don't want it to stay there forever because there's no line in the middle of the cat's face. But we're gonna do another line. So you get to practice your whisper drawing again. Remember, super, super light, right down the center of the, of the circle, going the other way. These are going to be our guidelines. And we're going to erase them as soon as we have things all settled. Now, if we were to make our lines in the middle of our photo, which we can do, one here and one here. This means we've got an oval on one line here and an oval on this line, and then the triangle is on the middle. Now, on each side of that center. So what we're going to do is we're gonna start out with the oval upper of the eye that goes on this side. Now, we can make it uh, more circular like this, because this is, we're gonna make it like a kind of ovally, but kind of circular. It's not a real flat oval. 
And I'm kind of going slow and careful there. And I want you guys to go slow and careful too. Going slow and careful is a big part of making drawings that we can be proud of. And then on the other side, we're going to make another oval. And this one's going to be kind of the same. Sort of ovally, kind of circly, like an oval that's a little shorter and a little wider. Because ovals, you know, can come in all kinds of shapes and sizes, right? They can be really thin, long ovals, and they can be really round ovals. So we want more of a round oval for this one. I'm going to erase those because I'm going to, we want to keep drawing over there too. Now let's put that triangle for the nose and it is going to be between the eyes and down a little bit. So it's going to be right on that center line. We're going to draw a line across and then we're going to come to that center line to make the triangle. All right, now we've placed our eyes and our nose. So I think we can go ahead and erase our guidelines. And if you did whisper drawing, if you did super, super light, then it will erase really easy. Now, if you didn't quite make it to whisper drawing, if it was maybe a level two or a level three drawing and you were pressing kind of hard, you can still erase. You just might see a little bit more of the lines. And that's okay, because guess what? It takes practice. It takes time to get to a point where you can do whisper drawing really good the first time. Now, what is the next thing that you think our kitten needs? I think that she needs a little mouth. Now, if we look at this, we're going to start looking for lines now. First we looked for shapes, and now we're going to look for lines. And I see a line that comes down, and it curves around, comes down, and curves around. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to draw a line coming down, but not too far. And then it's going to curve around. And then we're going to make that curve over on the other side. What do you think? Are we starting to look like a kitten? I think so. I think we're doing pretty good. Now, one thing, since we're looking for lines now, instead of just shapes, we're going to do some lines that we can see here, but we see them because of the form. So they're not lines like drawn on lines, but they're lines that are made because the form underneath is a little bit different. So the cat has a nose here that comes out, just like you have a nose that comes out. So we're going to draw a line from right from the edge of our triangle nose up to the eye, and right from the edge of the triangle nose up to the eye, and that's going to help give us give our kitten a nose. So one line, two lines. Okay, hey, we're doing pretty good. The next things we're going to do is we're going to work a little bit more on those eyes because they're shaped a little bit different. Let's see if we can put this right next to there so we can see it pretty well at the same time because I see another line. Do you see this line? It goes curve up, curve up, curve up over the oval and down, 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 down the other side. So let's see if we can do that line. We're going to come inside of our oval a little bit Curve up, 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 and down the other side. That is kind of a fun shape, isn't it? Now, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. One goes up, 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 right on the inside of that oval. And down the other side, and it kind of comes out. And then... We're going to go ahead with our, just with our pencils, because we can color with our pencils just like we can with our crayons. Did you know that? So we're going to fill in this line right here. Fill it in, fill it in, fill it in. Uh-oh, we lost that part. So let's bring one line out here and fill that in. What do you think? Did you get it? Let's try it again on the other side. We're going to fill it in just like we're coloring just like we're coloring, and oh, we're gonna make this side a little bit thicker too. And there we go. Now, what do you see about this line? This dark area, it comes up underneath the oval too. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to take another line, 
and go right underneath that line. So start up, go down, 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 curve over. We're going to stop when we get to that line right there. And then we're going to color it in with our pencil, just like that. And then we're going to do the same over on this side. Nice line, all the way around and up. And then we're going to fill it in. That's a little tricky, isn't it? It's okay if it isn't perfect. This is learning. And now let's give our cat some pupils. Pupils are what lets the light in so that the eye can see. So we're going to draw. Now what do you notice about these pupils? These are different than human pupils, right? They're more ovally, they're longer and thinner. Human pupils are more round and circly like this is how we draw them. But these are long and ovally, so we wanna make sure that we get that so that they look like cat's eyes. Long and ovally on one side, long and ovally on the other side. And I just filled those right in as we were going on. Whoa, check it out. It's looking more like a cat. Now let's look at the nose a little bit. We have just a triangle, but the cat's nose is just a little bit different, right? Do you see this part and this part? Those are the nostrils, and they're just little dark openings. And we need to make sure that our cat can breathe, right? We don't want a cat with a stuffed up nose. So we're going to make a little curve on one side of our triangle and a little curve on the other side of our triangle. And then we're going to fill it in just like that. There we go. All right, now let's go back up to the ears a little bit. And what do you see on these ears that's different than these ears? Do you see hair that's different? Yeah, this, the kitty has got lots and lots of hair, right? But hair is kind of tricky to draw, so we're not quite ready for that yet. But what I want to show you is do you see light, dark, light, dark, light? Do you see that? Let's give that a try. We've got one line of light around the edges and then another line that's going to be our dark. So we're gonna go up to our ear and as close as we can, we're gonna make a line following around it just as good as we can. We're not worrying too much about getting it perfect. Then we're going to make another line. Think about it like making a rainbow, except this line is you want it to be a little bit thicker because this we're going to do our, our, our coloring it in with pencil. And then that's that, that darker area. Do, do, coloring in with pencil. Okay, now on this ear, there's something else that's a little different. And I want to see, you can see the outside of the ear a little bit in like a little triangle right here. So we're gonna come up to the top of our cat's ear and we're gonna draw a line down. And then that is going to be the inside of the ear and that's going to be the outside of the ear right there. So what do you think? And then I think we should go ahead and maybe do a little bit of filling in with the dark over here too. So we're gonna make our first line just like we did with the other one. And then we're going to make our second line. And then we're going to fill it in Okay, now, one thing that I think we need to do is, I think we need to bring this ear down a little bit. So we're actually going to erase that line right there. Do you see that? I'm going to erase it. I'm going to make sure that this is part of, by bringing these lines down. Now, what else do I see? What could I do? to make this look even more like our kitty. What can you see? What can you see that's different? How about we give our kitty some whiskers? So right here on the edge, there are little dark dots. 
little dark dots and we're going to put those in and then we're going to draw out some nice long whiskers whisk 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 whoops those aren't long enough we need to make those longer okay now <clears throat> Now, what I'm doing is I'm looking back and forth between my picture and my drawing. And I'm just checking to see what else I could put in this that would make it look more and more like our kitty that we're drawing. And one thing I'm seeing is that there's we can start making the fur in a little bit. Um, some of the, the stripes in the fur. Because if we look at the top, we've got some stripes in the fur. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw those in. We're going to draw up to the ear. Just make those little lines again, and we're just going to fill them in with our pencil. One here, it's gonna make him look like a tiger. One here. And let's make some shorter ones here. And this is where you can have a little fun too. And let's see, let's do some underneath the eyes. I'm going to draw out that a little bit more. And so what I want you to do is to start making some of the hair. Now texture, when we draw texture, we make little short lines. So do you think you could make little short lines kind of all over the place? I'm going to go up to the ear and I'm going to put them, make them longer in the ear because they're longer in the picture. And I'm going to make some up on the top. And I'm going to make some coming out over here. And over here. Now, here is one of the fun things. What we're going to do now is we are going to erase around our line. Now, this was our big shape to begin with, this circle, right? But we're going to go ahead and we're going to erase it. We will still be able to see the line even after we erase it. But because we want our kitten to be fuzzy, we're going to replace that straight line with fur lines like this. So watch where your, 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 your line was and then just make short lines all along to make it look a little furry. I'm afraid that my kitten, my cat, looks like he's not getting much sleep. <laughs> it looks kind of like he's got bags under his eyes. That happens though, right? Sometimes we don't sleep well and that's okay. Okay, now I want you to add lots and lots and lots of little furs all over the place and have fun with it. And at this point, if you wanted to get out your crayons and fill it in with some color, that would be really great. The cat in the picture is kind of gray, but you could make him an orange cat, like a tabby cat. You could make him to be a um, purple unicorn cat make them really whatever color you want because that's the fun part about art right we get to use our imaginations and have fun even when we're learning things and how to draw things using shapes and lines all right I hope you had a little bit of fun today and I hope you learned some things I can't wait to see your pictures bye bye